In this video you will learn how to do alkalinity test on a water. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel Source of Skills. Please like and subscribe our channel for informative videos. The required apparatus and solutions include 0.02 normal HCl solution, 1% phenolphthalein indicator, 1% methyl orange indicator, a 50 ml beaker, a dropper, a conical flask, buret with a stand, a funnel, magnetic stirrer, and magnetic bar. So there are two types of alkalinity, phenolphthalein alkalinity and methyl orange alkalinity. First of all, we will find phenolphthalein alkalinity by using phenolphthalein as an indicator. So take 50 ml water sample and add 1% phenolphthalein indicator into it. 2 to 3 drops would be enough. The water color will be changed into pink. But if the color remains the same, that means alkalinity is zero. So our water is turned into pink. Now pour this into the conical flask. For titration, take stand and add buret on it and don't forget to put funnel. Now fill the buret with 0.02 normal HCl solution up to the zero point. Adjust the magnetic stirrer under the buret and add magnetic bar into the conical flask. Put the conical flask on the magnetic stirrer and turn it on for homogeneous mixing. Now start adding HL solution drop wise. Our water will become colorless after some time and on our that time we will note down our final volume. Now it become colorless. We will get our final volume which is 2.5 milliliters. Now let's find the alkalinity. So its formula is milliliter of acid multiplied by 10 ppm. So the phenolphthalein alkalinity is 2.5 multiplied by 10 and we get 25 ppm as phenolphthalein alkalinity. Now it's time for methyl orange indicator for methyl orange alkalinity. Take 50 milliliter water sample and add 1% methyl orange indicator into it. 2 to 3 drops would be enough and our water color will be turned into green. If the color does not change, that means our alkalinity in this water is zero. Now put this water into the conical flask. For titration, take a stand and adjust buret on it. Don't forget to add funnel. Now fill this buret with 0.02 normal HCl solution up to the zero point. Adjust the magnetic stirrer below the buret. Add magnetic bar into the conical flask. Now put this conical flask on magnetic stirrer and turn it on for homogeneous mixing. Now start adding HCl solution drop wise. You will see our water color will turn into dark pink. And at that point, we will note our final reading. So it has turned to dark pink. We get our reading, which is 19.6 milliliters. Now for alkalinity, it has the same formula milliliter of acid multiplied by 10. So methyl orange alkalinity will be 19.6 multiplied by 10 and we get our value as 196 ppm. Before conclusion results, let's discuss a table for a while through which you can get alkalinity of different water samples. So P indicates phenolphthalein alkalinity and T indicates methyl orange alkalinity. So here is the table. When P is equal to 0, that means hydroxyl ion is absent. Carbonate ion is absent, but bicarbonate ion is present with the value as T. When 2P is lesser than T, then hydroxyl is absent, 
carbonate is present with 2p and bicarbonate is present with t minus 2p. With 2p is equal to t, hydroxy ion is 0, carbonate ion is 2p and bicarbonate ion is 0. With 2p greater than t, hydroxyl ion 2p minus t, carbonate ion 2 into p minus t and bicarbonate ion is 0. When p is equal to t, a value hydroxyl is t, carbonate is 0 and bicarbonate is 0 too. So in our results, our value came as 2p is less than t. So that means hydroxyl ion is absent, carbonate ion is 2p and bicarbonate ion is t minus 2p. So for our values is 50 is less than 196 so hydroxyl is 0, carbonate ion is present as 50 and bicarbonate can out be find out with 196 minus 50. In the range of alkalinity in typical drinking water is between 20 and 200 ppm. Please like and subscribe our channel for other informative videos. Thank you.